What's going on, guys? Shane D here, and guess what? We are back with a band called Satan. That's right. A band called Satan. Why don't these guys, I mean, just people Google Spotify and that, looking that up, going, ah, Satan. Why don't these guys have like 800,000 uh, monthly listeners? Good, good or bad, you just go, why? I, I, got, I got to follow a band called Satan. And it looks like there, there's not a whole lot of Satan bands on here because when you put it at Satan in there, it pops, it pops up right away, Satan. So to the, today we're doing a song called Death Nail for a King by a band called Satan. And they are kind of uh, stone, stoner-ish. I want to say it's kind of stoner rock. You go into it thinking when you hear a band named like Satan that they're going to be kind of a black metal, but I think this is more kind of a, a, a doom metal, stoner metal uh, situation going on here. So we're going to learn about the band, then we're going to listen to the song Death Nail for a King. Uh, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. Uh, Satan has 24,239 monthly listeners. I'm saying way too low, no matter what, way too low. Uh, top five songs on the Spotify is Death Nail for a King, ba-bang, right there. That's the song we're doing with 315,000 plays. Into the Mouth of Eternity, also from this album, 154,000 plays. Then you've got Iceman, 101,000 plays. You've got The Doomsday Clock, bang, from that album. That's got 88,000 plays, and you've got Cruel Magic, Bang, again from this same album, 66,000. Maybe they only got a few albums, but we're going to find out right now because we look into the albums and see what they've released. Oh, these guys have been around since 1987. This can't be co correct, can it? Sus suspended Sentence. It's the, the, the title cuts off here, Into the Future. Suspended Sentence, Into the Future. Is this right? Yeah. I'll be damned, 1987. Then you've got Life Sentence, 2013. You've got Trial of Fire, 2014, Live in North America. That's a live album. you got Adam by Adam, 2015, Cruel Magic. That's the album we're doing here. Uh, and it's uh, uh, 2018. And apparently they've released a brand spanking new album called Early Rituals. And that came out in... On September 25th, 2020, 14 songs, one hour, five minutes long. So Early Rituals is the brand spanking new album from Satan. Uh, now we look into related artists for the band and see who they jam with, who they play shows with, and, and whatnot. And I'm seeing some old school bands here, so they must have been around since 1987. Because on their uh, uh, list here is Angel Witch. You're an angel witch. You're an angel witch. Manila Road. We've done Manila Road on the uh, on the first listens. Cloven Hoof. We've done them on the first first listens. Blitzkrieg. And I'm I'm kind of freaked out because they're the guys that do Blitzkrieg that made made famous by Metallica, right? Blitzkrieg does the song Blitzkrieg. You got Omen. You've got Attacker. We have done them on the first listens. You got Sirith on Gaul. I've been thinking about doing some of them. Tokyo Blade, Witchfinder, Liege Lord. Remember, we've mentioned them a thousand times. And Warlord. And why does this? I mean, we've done Warlord before, but this doesn't look like the same Warlord band. They've mixed somebody else's stuff up because Paul O put in for a request of Warlord. It's a reaction video, and this is not the same Warlord as them. Now we look into the bio for the band and learn about them a bit. Now there is no image for the band. I will have to find one and place it up so you can see what they look like. While standard bearers of the new wave of British heavy metal movement and responsible for 83 seminal court, court in the act and 87 suspended sentence with cruel magic, Satan make it abundantly clear that, it, that in 2018 they are not interested in simply capitalizing on past glories. Comprised of 10 tracks of searing metal, it is blatantly and profoundly the work of the Newcastle upon Tyne natives at their very best, infusing their signature sound with a more raw, wild, and spontaneous vibe than they showcased on 2015's mighty Atom by Atom, in the process displaying more passion and energy than slews of bands half their age. So there you have that. It's kind of talking about what we're talking about right here. 
this song we're going to listen to, and it's the big banger. So let's see how well they did bringing that 2000, you know, that 2018 sound into. Uh, so they don't. Uh, we don't want, want to be in 1987 anymore. We want to be right now, and we're going to show you. This is the magic titty. Take a taste. I take a taste. We listen to Death Nail for a King together. Sound good? Let's go. Dang. Okay, maybe it's not stoner. Oh, I don't mind his voice. Hear that bass? These guys are very noodly, aren't they? Now for a king. Bass player's got it. He's rocking with him too. Yeah. Very noodly. Good. I mean, I'm liking it. I can kind of see these guys opening for Ghost or something. Yeah, very tight little unit, very noodly, very... To the mouth of eternity. I mean, dude, I'm I'm liking it. Yeah, that's from the same album. Yeah, so it's just basically that kind of straightforward. Uh, what do they say? British uh, wave of uh, new new uh, British wave of new heavy metal, right? Or new heavy metal British wave. I get all those N G O B T O Z L Y N's all mixed up, but I didn't mind that at all. Um, 
not the kind of sound you think you're going to hear when, when it's coming from a band called Satan. And I like that. I like that it was different. Very noodly. They're very fingery. They're like, let's finger and let's finger each other and let's finger the keyboards and let's finger it. Let's... And I and, and he's got a very distinct voice, and I like that too. That oh, death knell for our king. And I could see those guys opening up for for um, if if ghosts ever go back to like being spooky, like they should. And uh, I could see those guys opening up a tour for them. That'd be pretty cool. I'd pay the the extra money to see that. Uh, but what say you? The most important part of the video is your comments below. You tell me everything you know, everything you think about the song that you just heard, about the band that you just heard. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I absolutely love Satan. I love the band Satan, but I also love the sweet demon Lord Satan. Or, uh, I don't really like the sweet demon Lord Satan, but I do love the band. I've seen them live. Here's my favorite songs. Here's my favorite albums. And here's my favorite guy in the band. Or, not good, not great. Uh, nothing too flashy about that. They were too noodly for me. I just couldn't, I, I couldn't deal with all the noodles. Uh, uh, not my cup of tea and I don't want it. All of that can be put down in the comments below, okay? So that's all I've got for this. Uh, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and be my friend if you can do that. I would truly appreciate it if you could. And if you have a hard rock or heavy metal special request, you want to see it on this channel with a thumbs up to you, click the link in the description below. That's all I've got. Satan. Mm.